This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today I want to answer the question, do you really need to throw away your furniture if you have bed bugs? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel or let me know what you think in the comments below. And so let's get on with this question. Now what spurred this question? was I had a customer that I serviced. I serviced her home for bed bugs, and I just got off the phone with her maybe two hours ago. And she's wanting to go and throw away her bed. And I told her, I said, no, don't throw away your bed. And she's like, well, why not? So I'm gonna explain it to you, the audience. I wanna answer this question because I get this a lot from a lot of people. Some people say their exterminator told them to throw away their bed or their sofa or their chair or whatever you found the bed bugs in. The exterminator has told you to throw away your stuff. Some people tell me, well, my sister said she threw her stuff away and that got rid of her problem. Um, so a lot of people believe that if you throw away your furniture that the bed bugs are living in, that you will eliminate your bed bug problem. Um, the price to treat bed bugs is expensive, and when you weigh it against just brand new furniture, a lot of times brand new furniture is actually cheaper than a bed bug treatment. So why not just throw away your furniture and start over? Get brand new furniture, new bed, new couch, whatever. Um, everybody likes new furniture. But that will not eliminate your bed bug problem. And I'm gonna explain to you why? In the world of bed bugs, all right, let me give you a scenario. You are buying a brand new house, new to you. Someone else lived there before you. You don't know who lived there, but someone lived there before you did. Um, you move in. The house has got an amazing coat of paint. It's got beautiful hardwood floors. Uh, just, it looks like they just laid fresh carpet, maybe even a new roof. It's a great house, great house. Or the same for an apartment. If you're moving into an apartment, the apartment's got a fresh coat of paint, floors have been redone. It's just a beautiful place, you move in. You didn't have bed bugs where you used to live, but when you move into this new residence, week goes by, maybe just a few days go by, and you start noticing you have bug bites. A month goes by and now you're seeing bed bugs in the house. Where did the bed bugs come from? Because there wasn't, there, there was no furniture in the house. There were no chairs, there was no bed, no furniture that bed bugs could live in. So where did the bed bugs come from? This happens to people all the time. They move into a new to you apartment or home and they immediately get bed bugs for free, something they didn't even have to pay for. Where did the bed bugs come from? Because they didn't come from the furniture. The furniture is gone. They came from the house. They came from the baseboards. They came from crown molding or around door frames or window frames. They weren't just living on the furniture. They were living in the house. So I recommend all the time on my channel to treat with a non-repellent type pesticide for things like bed bugs. The reason I say this is because you're not gonna tell the bed bugs that any chemicals been sprayed. They don't know anything's been done. They continue to crawl out and behave like they normally would. They come out to bite you. They crawl across a treated surface and they die because the treatment's there, right? So the treatment kills the bed bugs. Now, if you treat your mattress with a pesticide like crossfire and then you take that mattress 
like the woman I talked to just a few hours ago, and throw it away, you're essentially throwing away the treatment area. It's like you treat an area, and then you take it out of the house and throw it away. There's no treatment. There's no area for the bed bugs to crawl over to die. That's, that's defeating the purpose of spraying in the first place. So if you are a do-it-yourselfer and you've decided to take my advice on some of my other videos, you know, and do what I do and treat houses with crossfire, and then you go right behind yourself after treating and throw away the furniture you just treated, then you're throwing away the treatment. You're throwing away what kills the bed bugs, the treatment. So the way that Crossfire or Temperate or Alpine WSG or other type pesticides, the newer pesticides on the market for bed bugs, the way they actually work is the bed bugs don't notice them as a chemical. They don't know anything's been done. So you're the food. So what you do, if you're a technician like me and you go into a house, the first question you ask, and you're, you know it's a bed bug job, the first question you ask is, where's the food? What are the bed bugs attracted to? Bed bugs are attracted to people. People are the food. So where is the food? Where are the people? Where's where are the people sitting? Where are they sleeping? Where are they at rest? Where are they attracting the bed bugs to? Well, the bed, sofas, lazy boy recliners, you know, pieces of furniture like that, bedrooms and places. So you treat the mattress, you treat the box spring, you treat the headboard, footboard, the bed rails, you treat all the lazy boy recliners and the big cushy chairs, armchairs and love seats and stuff like that. You treat all that stuff so that when the bed bugs come out to bite you, the food, they have to crawl through the chemical in order to get to the food and then they die. And so if you throw away the actual treatment you're going to have to treat the new bed you replace it with. You're, the new furniture that you bring into your house is going to have to be treated. So why not leave the old stuff in the house? I mean, I know you may just want new furniture because it's the idea of sleeping in a bed that bed bugs have pooped all over and stuff. It just irks you. I understand that. That's fine. But wait until the bed bugs are dead. Once the bed bugs are dead, you throw away your bed, throw away your couch, whatever it is, buy yourself some new furniture, and then you don't have to worry about bed bugs anymore. You know, you get brand new furniture, don't have to worry about the bed bugs that are in your home, not just on your bed. You don't have to worry about them infesting your new, brand new, great, beautiful, <laughs> cushy, comfortable furniture. So, Because, I mean, if, if you think about it, you don't want to just keep having to throw away your furniture because if you're the mindset that the only way to get rid of bed bugs is to throw away the furniture, that's not successful. That's not a successful way to get rid of bed bugs. So hopefully this video has helped you understand how to deal with a bed bug problem and hopefully help you save some money and so that you don't have to throw away your furniture. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Don't forget, live streams every Thursday night. See you there.